Hey froggy friends, Kira Style here, welcome back to I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. We're getting closer to the end of the game, I don't know if we're going to finish it today, but we'll try. So last time we made it to the end of uh, Kizzy and Leon's route, we also discovered the identity of the masked girl. Well, we sort of discovered her identity, there's still a lot of mystery. We also sort of figured out who Terror is, although there's still a lot of things we don't know about him as well. So. In order to progress, we have to go back to Lee Insomnium and take the other route from here. Once we finish this route, we should get something that will allow us to continue down this route, which I am assuming is the true ending. So, let's get right back into it. Thank you so much for joining me here on stream, really appreciate it. Welcome Daikonjo, welcome, thank you so much for coming to the stream. And Aramon, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Let's get through this and see what new plot twists we discover today. Now, I'll go through the dialogue of Leon's Somnium again, even though we've seen it before, just for completion's sake. But of course, we know the solutions to all the puzzles. So it should be smoother sailing. See ya, Iva. Bye. Huh? Did I die? Yeah, you must be dead. You're floating. You're right. I suppose I can float in this Somnium. This is interesting. Is it? I have little experience in this regard. It happens quite often, once in a while. Which is it? Quite often or once in a while? It depends on the mental state of the subject of the sink. This is Leon's dreamscape. I think I remember him telling me it was always his dream to fly. Sometimes, a person's wants show up in their dreams. Especially the more straightforward types, like Leon. This is Yoyagi Park, right? No, this is Kingdom Hearts, Mizuki. It appears to be. Though, it is different in many ways. Somnium scan, activate! Hey, Yoro Yoro, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. The locations of all these locks are misleading now that we know what they are. I guess it's because the other items haven't spawned yet, so... Oh, my Tamagotchi is ready. How do you want to meet someone? Run into on the corner. Transfer student sitting next to you. Teacher calls for a battle royale. A mean transfer student. Battle royale? Teacher, now all of you will engage in a battle royale. Burdock, Taro, watch out! Taro, huh? <laughs> okay. You're gonna be like that, Oda. I bet all his Tamagotchi things are just references. What's this? A lock picking tool favored by professionals. Locksmiths and thieves. Maybe Leon used to use this. We only ended up using this lockpick for the first save, although you can use it for all the other ones, it just takes up a bunch of your Somnium time. Maybe we can open some of them with it, too. We should hold on to it. He unlocked his important memory so he doesn't forget. Once the lock was open, his memories float out. Where is the... Where's the safe? It appears to be a standard safe with a keyhole, but there is something interesting about it. It is made of a lead alloy. I do not believe that is particularly common in safes. Can you open it? No, it is locked. Got it. Makes sense that Leon's dream is like this. Like this, this, and this. There! It's 
help him. What a good boy. Good, safety boy. You're good at that. Wow. Tons of money. A little cliche. I'm rich. I shouldn't get so hyped up. I'm only gonna steal just this once. I'm going to escape poverty and find a good job. Is this a memory of when Leon used to steal? Leon was trying to better himself, I guess. In his own way. Oh, it turned into a safe. It flew away. Iva, let's chase it. A can of Alfred, the drink Leon is always drinking. This could fit approximately 500 liters. Damn. Hey, what's that on there? That is a... keyhole. Like, I think I remember what the number is. Okay. I but I'm try. just gonna do this for the sake of completion. This, this, and this. It opened. Easy. Oh, a piece of paper. It says 0708. It looks to be ripped on the left side. Perhaps there's more to this number. An iron door. There is a pull tab on top of the knob. A pull tab? Like the ones on a can. Why is it on the doorknob? It won't explode, will it? We can ask that question after you do it. Then it would be too late. Well, I suppose I can try. Oh, it opened. Aww. You wanted an explosion, didn't you? Another piece of paper. This one says 0809. If we combine it with the other one, it would read 0809-0708. I wonder what this number is for. If we were to break the numbers up into pairs and correlate them to the alphabet, 08 is H, 09 is I, 07 is G, and 08 is H again. Hi. Yeah, sounds like Leon. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Another safe came out. There is a keyhole and a keypad for inputting a code. It looks like we need an eight-digit code. So this needs a key and a code? It's double locked? I am guessing it will open with either. So the safe only needs the key or the code. By combining it with the other sheet we found, the number is 08090708. We should input that number. This should be right. Yes, it opened. Is this a magazine? It looks like a job search magazine. Hmm. They're all kind of... Well, how do you read this? Er, Dury Research Institute? I don't know what that is, but I bet I can land that janitor position. This is the memory of when Mian gave up a life of Beaver. Guessing he meant Corridori. Right, the Institute. It turned into a key!
The ceiling opened up. We can go higher. What's that paper? Low to high. Maybe it symbolizes how Lian wants to bring himself up in the world. At the same time, I imagine it is also a hint for the Samya. Right. Do things from the bottom up. Well, let's look around. Where's that next safe? There it is. Wait, was it this high up? This safe does not have a keyhole. Oh, this is another one. How can we open it? Controls are all wonky, okay. Ah. An unopened safe. It has a keyhole and a voice activation device. This safe should either open with a key or a voice detection. Whose voice should I imitate? Kizzy's. And what should I say? My prince. In this case, my prince. What would Lian want to hear? I know. Say, my prince. My prince! It opened. How did you know? Lian is just that easy to read. I've always liked this. It really takes me back. Thanks so much. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You work really hard. You're not afraid of getting dirty. You even do a good job with the toilets. Though you can be a little rash sometimes. <laughs> I'll work on that. I really was a no good person not too long ago. I was straying off the path. And that's the nice way of putting it. But from now on, I'm going to work hard as a janitor at Horidori Institute. Hey, Meteorite. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. Eventually, I'm going to be the CEO. Or maybe President is the title there. But anyway, this is when my life begins to skyrocket. like he's talking to an older woman. A co-worker, perhaps? Sounds like he was a little clumsy, but well-liked. This key is... Here comes Chikara. I... It's okay. I can move. What's with that thing? Damn it! I haven't done a single thing wrong since I started at Oradori Institute. I didn't steal anything! You think an ex-con doesn't deserve to be happy? That annoying voice. It's Chikara, isn't it? That sounded like what Chikara said to Liam when he got fired. That damn Chikara. I understand how you feel, but there is more we must do. You're right. Hey, do you still have the key from earlier? Of course. I have been keeping it close. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Let's look around. Got it. Oh, this was the white safe at the very top that I couldn't open before. This stereo was inside the safe. Oh, this is the one they use at the dance club. An old stereo like this? Do they not have a bigger budget? I think they chose to use it. I remember Kizzy saying, Stereos are cool and retro. What is that stereo doing in the insomnium? Yeah, we're doing the other route. Although, we're just about to get to the branch in like a minute or two. And this is still the like same that? for now. Oh great, we get to see the dance scene again. <laughs> Station. 
don't know, I think every time I hear this song again, it gets a little bit, just slightly more catchy than before. The thing about these games is, whenever it's just one character singing and dancing, it's a little cringy. But when it's everyone singing and dancing at the same time, it's not cringy. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait for the credit roll for that. I think the song from the first game was more catchy. I think that's intentional because Iris is supposed to be like an idol, while Kizzy's just more of a hobbyist. Why are you dancing, Iva? Dancing is fun because we can all do it together. Well, okay. Two safes came out. Maybe the key from earlier would come in handy here. But we only have one key. Okay, so last time we did the golden one, which has the girl statue in it. So this one has Ganesha in it. So that, does that mean this has something to do with Gen? Or maybe at least Brahmin? We still don't know why Gen hid the balloon from us. Huh? What? But it didn't go down the other path yet. Leon blank for him blank. Oh, here we go. Opened a memory with Gen. Open all locks. This place is inside the safe. Kind of reminds me of Brahmin. Let's look around. You have four minutes remaining. I have plenty of time. This is the mask that one woman wears. Okay, oh, so this must be everyone that's involved with Horidori. Maybe this is talking about what Leon saw there. I wonder if Leon knows her. Perhaps it is simply a common mask. So, I guess this means that when he knew Quartz, she was always wearing the mask, so he didn't know that Quartz looked like Mizuki like we thought. Well, putting that threat aside for now, try wearing it. Hmm, it looks good on you. You should keep it on. Does it not fit right side up? This is probably not good for my skin. I will take it off later. Lean and Gen are developing a strong friendship. He will not spill the beans about him. Oh, did Gen get him to open up a door? Wait, I'm still wearing this mask. Okay. Cool, I guess. Okay, there's a lock. Let's visit this thing first. Oh. Date. Iba, can you put the eye patch on? You said ah just now, didn't you? Huh? No, just do it, hurry. Mizuki, do you want to hear a lantern pun? Oh, I thought you were gonna wear it on top of the mask. I'd be like, that's so weird, wearing an eye patch and then an upside down mask. Maybe my next thing has to depend on whether I'm wearing the eye patch or the mask. Sorry, do you want me to get in there and kick your ass? Sorry. What else is there to examine? Is it just the safe? Is that something? Yes. Oh, just kidding, there's not something. Oh, that's something. Oh, 
What's Gen's mask? You want me to put this on? It'll look good on you. Please. Whoa. <laughs> you look really suspicious. That looks really creepy. Tell Gen that next time you see him. Okay, so this is the right path because the chart updated. Oh, this must be like it's a face recognition. Uh, a large safe. This looks like some kind of facial recognition device. So we need a face registered to the device to open. I like it. how the back of Gen's mask, because it's too big for Iba, it's just filled in. It's not even a hole. Oh, it worked. So it was registered again. Pretty smart. Measure the. Use the face re facial recognition on a mask instead of an actual face so anyone can get in. Ugh. Everything's screwed up, man. Why'd it come to this? You'll drive yourself crazy thinking about it. Sometimes the world is just unfair. No matter how hard you try to change, doesn't mean you'll be accepted. That's just life. But there is hope. At the very least, I'm grateful that you and Mr. Dakte are my friends. Kenny? You're my best friend, Kenny. And I'm pretty sure Dakte thinks so too. Let me know if you ever need anything. I'll help you out. Thanks. Now eat this while it's still hot. Okay. Thanks for the food. It's a good thing he has such good friends. No! You can't open this! Mizuki, over there. Yeah, let's go. Three minutes left. You can do this. No! Please don't open it! Looks like this is the place. What's in here? Ah. Sorry, Leon, but we gotta open this before you can stop us. Let's start with the keyhole. How's this? There's like five different things on this lock, though, and he's not even trying to stop us. Yes, it opened. You're getting good at this. Now I need the code. Same as before? This number. Correct! We did it! Let's try the voice. My, my pr prince! The other option was my prince and Genny's voice. Correct. That's like a master key. Next is the stereo. We saw this earlier too. That one's not even what? a log. <laughs> Last is the facial recognition. I like how I just said put on face mask or put on mask. I thought I was looking for the word Gen and I was like, I couldn't see Genny's mask. Thanks, Genny. Uh, uh, I said stop! We're about to get hit by that door. We were not st standing far enough away. This is Brahmin. You haven't used this lock in a while. Oh, the you? back room. The mechanism itself is pretty simple, but it's all rusted out. Lucky for you, this is child's play for me. And there. Get it open? Yeah. I struggled a bit with it, but... Now, let's see what's inside. No, I thought it was his fridge that was jammed, not his back room. Uh, what the? A body? Uh, hey, is this for real? How can this be? Uh, why are you surprised? You didn't know? Well, I guess that makes sense. If you knew, you wouldn't have asked me to open the lock and see what's inside. 
Uh, uh, what the? This must be for the HP case. Why is this here? Inside Brahmin's freezer. A victim of the HB case. But that corpse... Is it one of the ones we already know? We cannot investigate any further here. We have to go to Brahmin in the real world and check. Like, I'm wondering if this Which indicates... Means... Uh, we're... out of time. If this indicates that either... Chikara or Komeiji's body was placed by Gen somewhere. But I don't think it's them. I don't think it's Tokigozo, because that one was underground, right? So... Unless this is another person, but it can't be Uru's. Because Uru's is at the altar, unless... I mean, this is a different timeline, so it's possible it could also be Uru's. Who's there? Mizuki Chapter 4, M2. How do we convince him to come show us? Hey, Mizuki? Are you sure about this? What? Well, Genny isn't here. We should at least get permission from him first. Just do it. Hard to believe he functioned running this place without like, the entire back room. Uh, fine. It's open. Okay, open it. Well, it's probably gone by now, huh? Uh, just like I thought. He just left it there? But this is... A gin? That's the original gin. Who is this? Genny? Mommy? Oh, mommy. Can we talk? I'm kind of surprised they didn't run off. All that we are, Mizuki Chapter 5, M2. I know why Leon opened the lock on the freezer. You asked him to, didn't you, Gen? Well, that entire back room is the freezer. So there is no other back room? I thought there was another back room, because once he told Mame that she should lie down in the back room. Yeah. Unless there's another door back there. So now I want to know who that body is and why it's there. What do you have to say for yourself? Give me a second. What's your type? Energetic person, quiet person, caring person, no need to be human. I mean, at this point, I don't think it matters what your stats are, because you're going to evolve anyways, right? Caring. I like it too, E. Who is that corpse? We have no idea. The identity of the corpse is unknown. Their face does not match any persons of interest in our database. So, in the other route, Aiba was able to show me a picture of the face. Did she get that picture from Tokiko's book? All we can determine for certain is that this is the left half of their body, and their face has a very distinct marking. Yeah, we can tell just by looking. How long has that corpse been in there? I don't know how long it's been here. 
Uh, this is your business, isn't it? How can you tell me you don't know? When was the freezer locked? I think it was about six years ago. Wait, you know an expert lock picker in Leon, and it took you six years until you decided to open it? Six years? I lost the key. Uh, hold on. Are you trying to act suspicious? You wouldn't just leave your freezer locked for six years. It's common sense. With that acknowledged, it is clear that the body was not frozen recently. It shows signs of being frozen for at least several years. Why is there a corpse in the freezer? I'm sorry, but I don't know. The body just... out of nowhere. Are you serious? You're still gonna play this game? Do I look like I'm playing games? Well... Oh, we can't really tell. Who killed them? How would I know? With the corpse being cut in half, the culprit is almost certainly terror. You're awfully calm, Gen. The cut section is similar to the other recovered bodies. Which would mean this person was sliced in half in the basement of Horridori Institute. Most likely. I remember Boss saying... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, five different, different DNA. DNA. Which means there might be another yet undiscovered victim. Wait, so right now there's two halves of... The two halves of Jin have already been found. And then... Uru, one half of him has been found. So we were under the assumption that Uru's been going around as terror with half of Uru and half of Jin. But now that we found another half of Jin, things don't add up anymore. Uru is definitely one half of the blonde Jin, which is technically Uru himself. Who's his other half, though? Because now there's five halves instead of four halves. Wait, why are we asking Amame, where were you, Geni? Is that a typo? Hey, Yule, welcome to the stream. We need to go shopping for ingredients. Right, we're out. You're going now? There's a 24-hour supermarket nearby. It is past midnight. The date is February 15th. You know anything about the corpse? I don't know. I have no idea who it is. But you're one of the Horidori kids, so you must know. Or there's a high probability you might might not be. You must know. She seen she see she seemed to be completely shocked by it. Are you okay? Yeah. Somehow. When did you open the lock on the freezer? I remember it was around sunrise on the 13th. I got a call from Genny. Why didn't you say anything about the corpse? I've been buddies with Genny for a long time. I can't knock on my bro. That would make me a total scumbag. Why would I do that? Yeah, because now that you don't- now that you withheld it, it's even more suspicious. You know anything about the corpse? Nothing. I've never seen this person before. Like, what were you planning to do with it, Genny? Just keep it there forever? Like, you didn't dispose of it, obviously, but when were you going to tell the cops, huh? Did you kill them, Genny? What are you, dumb? Why is that a dumb question? If Genny did this, why would he show me the body? And it's not like he killed me or anything after. That is a fair point. In the Somnium earlier, Gen was surprised to see the body. Then why didn't Genny call the police? Well, I have my reasons. What the hell does that mean? Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Honestly, I don't want to accuse you of anything. But your story makes no sense. It doesn't add up. Could you please tell me more? Mizuki, let's move. SAT is on their way here. What? Why the SAT? I believe Boss called them. She was monitoring the Somnium earlier. So Boss knows there's a corpse here. Right. But why would she call the SAT? This is getting annoying. Uh, Genny? What's wrong? The police are on their way. How does he know? The SAT. The special assault Is team. he able to, like, intercept my eyeball or something? What the- Eavesdropping? Screw this! I don't want any part of it. Sorry, but I'm out of here! 
Wait, Leon. What? Let go of me. Leon. Let's go. The one time that boss actually gives me backup, it's a time that I don't want it. Thanks, boss. Yeah. Wait, are we going to help him or are we just leaving him? Also, wait, 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 wait. I just thought of something. Well, maybe I'll wait until after the cutscene if it plays out. Hello? Game? Okay. What's all this? I just thought of something. You know how in the last stream, we saw the masked woman, and she took off her mask, and she had a bike and a rod that were identical to Mizuki's, and we were like, or I was like, that doesn't make sense. Even if she is some kind of clone or something like that, she doesn't make sense if she has the same equipment from Abyss. What if the masked woman is Boss's daughter? What if her daughter is the other Mizuki? Maybe that's why she's so nice to us. That would make a lot of sense. Right? That, that would mean the boss... Wait, no, but that would mean the boss... Wait, no, because Komeiji... Wait, no, I'm mixing up the families now. I was gonna say Mame is Komeiji's daughter, so she's living with his wife, which is not boss, but that's unrelated. So, yeah, the other Mizuki could be boss's daughter. Amame, get inside Brahmin. Uh, okay. Why are we fighting our own police dudes? Nice frying pan there again. Or walk. Don't you think this is a bit much? It's not like there's a monster on the loose. That's exactly why we're here. We were told that there were two monsters here. What? And one of them might be related to terror. So... It couldn't have been boss to tip you off then, right? Two monsters? You mean Genny and me? That's so rude. So we're here to detain them. Are they talking about Genny? You mean, so they didn't even come here for the corpse? Most likely. Who sent you guys? Who's the other person? You, ma'am. We were told you might resist. Normal police can't handle you, which is why we were called in. Who told you all this? The leader of Abyss, Miss Kuranushi. Why would you sell me out like this, boss? I don't believe it. Damn. She's got me there. Do you plan to resist arrest? I don't like how these guys use violence to get what they want. So yeah, I'm not going down without a fight. I don't like how these guys use violence, so I'm going to use violence. That is quite the contradiction. Hey, quit wasting time. Let's do this. Huh? You're gonna put up a fight, aren't you? He did it again. He's listening to our conversation. Did... Did Leon go back inside too? Let's do this. How's Genny intercepting our conversation? I almost just whacked Genny there. Mizuki, you take care of the guys over there. I'll take care of these guys. Got it! I feel like this will just give you more charges for them to bring down on you, Genny. With so many guns on you, you're bound to at least get shot once. Oh no, Genny! Wait. You're not Genny. Did that just happen really, really fast, or are there two Gennies around here? There's two Gennies. Are you are you Date? Is that Date pretending to be Genny? What's going on? Is that how he's able to listen to me? Are 
you. So does Date have like a voice changer, and he has the receptor in his eyeball that lets him his listen to Aiba? I'm Gen. But you're over there too. I'll explain later. We need to save him first. And he doesn't have super strength or anything. That has to be Date. Okay, that's okay. He can get beat up. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on, but fine. Gen, you're fine. You can stay here. I'm glad you're okay. Date, we can just leave him. SAT is all over the street. It would be hard to get through there. What do we do? Wait, I have an idea. No time to explain. Throw the porno mag. Mizuki, follow my orders. Equip scatter shot in your revolver. Is she gonna do the same thing? In the first game, what they did was he shot like a vending machine that vending machined a porno mag on the ground and gave Date superpowers. Why? There's no time. Just do it. Uh, okay. Now, tell Gan this. There is a vending machine. Oh no, he's gonna do it. To She's gonna do it. A vending machine? Yes. Oh yes, it's a, it's a book vending machine. machine. Oh my gosh. Why is this even a thing? Hurry! Mizuki's hey, like, Genny. I know exactly what's going on. You see that vending machine? I get it. That's a good plan. You don't even have to say it. I've got it. Here I go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. He must know it's Date too. Uh Why the scatter shot though? Why not just the regular shot? Uh, get back here! Hey, 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 hey! How dare you move? Wait, why are you moving? That was a hard one. They kept moving the camera on me. Woo! Adult explosion! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no. Now we have, but now we have three monsters. <laughs> Ken's like, yeah, my boy. That looks so weird. Date? See, I don't get it. You're surprised to see him in this route, but you weren't surprised to see him at the abandoned factory at all. Like... Why is that one route just weird? Why does that one route not make sense in the timeline? It must be... There must be something going on timeline-wise. Mommy too, you were in on this. Where'd Leon go? We should be safe here for now. Did he actually get taken away? You changed clothes? That outfit was so hard to move in. With the wireframe and all the stuffing. It's the only reason those guys were able to beat me up. Forget about that! There's so many questions I need answered. I won't let you leave until I have them. What if I want to use the bathroom? You can't just do that here? What if it's number two? Then I'll feed it to you. <laughs> Look, all you have to do is talk to me. So let's hear it. Mommy, why are you here? What happened in the last six years? Day of the explosion at the cathedral, I was captured by terror. What? Were you okay? If I wasn't, I wouldn't be here now. When I came to, I didn't know where I was. I don't know why terror captured me. I wasn't sure if he was going to torture me for information and confidential police secrets. Or maybe he just wanted someone to play backgammon with. Anyway, I was held there for a whole day. Then, a white snake slithered into the room. When I saw that, I felt my power churning inside of me. This goes back to his dumb story. His alleged story of why he gets 
powers from magazines. And that's how I was able to break out of the room I was being held in. Wait, wait. What's this about a snake? Do you mean an actual snake or do you mean a magazine? Oh, the snake? I'll tell you about it some other time. No, 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 no. You can't just gloss over that. What happened after? I had lost my memory, actually. Of how convenient. I think when the ceiling collapsed, something fell in my head. I had completely forgotten that I'm a special agent at Abyss. After I escaped, I wandered around the country. I had no memories, so I took on day labor jobs. Before coming back here, I worked at a hot springs in Atami. So you were there. I really should have drowned him. Did you get your memory back? Yeah, I've got it back now. Oh, how convenient. It was a few days ago when I saw the news about the stadium. February 10th, Jin Furaway's left half being found. At that moment, I remembered everything. This is all too convenient and, like, neatly laid out. It's just an excuse for him to be gone and then come back. Like, I'm not buying it. I mean, I think he's telling the truth, but I think this is not very good writing. About my past, the HB case, everything. But I didn't return to Abyss right away. I decided to start my own investigation. Does he think Boss is dirty? Why? I thought there might be something fishy about Abyss. I thought maybe Terror was involved somehow. I almost asked him how that would be possible, but I stopped myself. It was Boss who sent the SAT. So that's why you didn't contact us until now. I'm sorry for not telling you right away. But they did that in the first game too, where they made Boss like suspicious for a time and then we realized we were wrong. So are they going to do that again? Oh. In the six years Date spent wandering around, he had his silicon mask off. After getting his memory back, he started using it. His reasoning was a hostess girl at Nakameguro remembers this face. I'm not buying that either. The whole the whole you not using your your mask and then putting it back on also is extremely fishy to me. Like it's just a convenient way for the game to write it off, but uh, it's just really dumb. Honestly, you should have just stayed as your normal self. Why were you taking on Genny's appearance? I knew that Horidori Institute and Nice were involved with the HB case. Gen had connections with Horidori Institute and his acquaintances with Tokiko. But he he said he didn't know Tokiko. You lied to me, Gen. So I asked Gen to let me borrow his appearance and his name. And also Tokiko's dead. I thought it would make it easier for me to investigate Horidori Institute and Nyes. You didn't refuse, Genny? I can't say no to Date. So these last few days, were you Genny, Date? No, I wanted to investigate something else. So I wasn't Gen the whole time. Yesterday, or technically two days ago now, the 13th, that was actually me. It's okay, Amame. I made an oath. I will protect you with my life. So don't you worry about a thing. So who was the one that hid the balloon from us? That was real Gen. Because we somniumed into him and that was definitely him. Any progress on the investigation? Also the one at the dock was definitely him because we scanned his face. I know that Nyes is trying to do something crazy. But I still haven't been able to find Terror. The only real lead I have is the body that was found at Brahman. But I don't know who it is or how it got there. I wanted to ask Gen about it. It's super pervert Detective Date. Why is there a corpse in the freezer? That corpse. I carried it to the freezer. I locked it and threw the key into the ocean. Where did you find the corpse? I can't tell you. Even if it means getting arrested, I can't tell you. It has something to do with Amame. It's okay, Kenny. Amame? Amame, will you talk? Yeah. No, Amame! I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused, Genny. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> I asked Genny to carry the corpse to Brahmin six years ago and hide it in the freezer. But why? That body. My father found it. Yonoharu Enda? Mizuki, you know? Did Shoma tell you? Yeah. Assuming her story is true, that aligns with Terror's diary. She's the thief. Wait, no. Komeji found the body on top of the department store. He stole it. He gave it to Mame. She hid it in Genny's freezer. 
But why? The person who took the corpse really was Yonaharu Enda, aka Andy's Komichi. And why would Terra leave the second- why would he even put out the second half of Jin's corpse, the real Jin's corpse, on display anyways? That's like almost half giving away his identity, or giving away the trick behind Jin's first corpse. That's how and why he became a target. What chocolate do you like? Bonbon bon the chocolat, ganache, chocolate bar, janduja, the uh, chocolate bar. It's a chocolate with a cute drawing, or not, E. Evolve to- wait. Pewter E? Why did Ota turn into pewter? <laughs> Are there really multiple paths for these eyeballs? Like, is it possible for Iris E and Mizuki E to turn into something other than Tomi E and Date E? I wasn't expecting. <laughs> okay. Nothing makes sense anymore. Why did Komeji steal the corpse? My father had a huge debt. He borrowed money from bad people. They told him. Listen, Andy's Komeji. Your dear little boy is in elementary school, isn't he? If you don't pay the money you owe in one month, we're taking him and selling him overseas. Am I clear? He was gonna blackmail Terror for money? Yes. When he found the body, he was really drunk. He saw Jin Furroway's body at the studio. And then early the next morning, he found the other corpse at the rooftop amusement park. He told me something came over him. And he just... Did it. How did you end up with the body? Six years ago on the 11th, my father called me home. The floorboards were overturned, and in the floor was the suitcase. Shomo wasn't home at the time. My father was just standing there. No expression. The corpse was in that suitcase? Yeah. I think after he sobered up, he realized the mistake he made. He didn't know what to do, so he called me. What happened next? He told me everything that he did. So that's why she was keeping so secretive when we found Aunt, uh, Komeji's body. Oh my god! You're, You're so, so stupid, stupid! You know that? You're like the stupidest bottom-feeding dad ever! Oh, I mean, it was a dumb decision, but... Dang, that means Komeji died after getting chewed out by both his children. Both his children called him stupid. And then he died. Oh, that's so depressing. I'm so surprised we didn't see Imame in Komeji's Somnium at all. I mean, the game wanted to hide it from us, but if he thinks about Shoma so much, he must have also been thinking about Imame a lot too. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry isn't going to fix this! It's fine. I'll take care of it. So you took the body to Gen's place? Yes. Jeez. Okay, that answers... A number of questions, but still. Hey, Lord Demper, welcome to the stream. So Genny did nothing wrong. I asked him to do it. Amame. Okay, now what? <laughs> we have a half a body. What do we do with it? Okay, I get it. Genny was staying quiet to protect you, Mame. But I need to know more. I want to ask one more thing. It's... We can continue this later. This is an emergency. The building has been surrounded. Aiba, again, if you can detect other life forms, could you not give us more of a warning before we're completely surrounded? What? What is Boss thinking? Come on, guys. You think it by you think by now we would carry around a magazine just in case for emergencies for Dante like this, right? Thanks for the show. 
A true monster, just like the rumors. It was quite the spectacle. But enough is enough. Our team is equipped with live rounds. Please surrender, or else... Or else what? You gonna shoot us to death? Yeah, what are you gonna do with your bullets? Shoot us? I'd like to see you try. Okay, but we have freaking Amame with us, and she is not superhuman. I mean, she is, but she's not a useful type of superhuman. Mizuki, you're being irrational. What are you planning? Yeah, let me just load my gun here while all these guys have their guns trained on me. I'm going to stun grenade them and get past them while they're immobilized. This isn't a video game, Mizuki. Oh wait, maybe it is. This world's a simulation. Are you serious? Even if you get past them, what will you do after that? Do you plan on running away forever? All four of us? Mizuki, I agree with Aiba. There's no point trying to fight our way out of this. We should just raise the white flag. Okay. But I just loaded my gun. Wait, Amame, what are you planning? Uh, Mommy! Run, Kenny! Amame! Don't be stupid! Nope. Uh, excuse me? Drop your gun! Uh oh, she's gonna get shot. Uh oh, Amame! she's gonna die in this ending. Oh no, Genny's gonna die in this ending. <laughs> That's how it's gonna be. I'll create an opening for you. Oh my gosh. Amame, you run through it, okay? Huh? Wait, get me! Uh! Detain him! I mean, he's super strong, but that looked extremely unimpressive. What what happened to the thing he did at the cathedral where he like swings his arms and like pressure waves of wind knock everyone down? Nice nails, girl. This is all my fault. Yes, this is your fault. No, Stop. Stop. don't do don't do anything rash. Don't do anything rash. No. Mommy. Oh no. Mommy. Oh no, oh no, mommy, you, why would you do that? Oh, mommy, are you okay? Yes, but Genny, you're... Don't you worry about well, me. Well, tell me this is the Amame Genny ending. As long as you're okay. Oh my gosh. That is... Why would you shoot? Why would you take Mizuki's gun? Why, this is all... Oh my gosh, mommy. You just ruined everything. Seriously though, Genny has like... Genny's stronger than that, he was not putting up much of a fight. Genny! Genny! Stay with me! Oh, mommy. I have a favor to ask. Can you sing me that song? What song? Eat donuts in the bathroom, get all the girls or all the boys, and meet my other half. The flower that blooms in snow. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought he was, she was gonna sing Kizuna's song. I was, I was wide-eyed face is just so funny and out of place there. Uh, police officers being very kind 
standing back and letting us have this moment. I don't think I can talk much longer. So I wanted to tell you something. Oh, I'm playing now. Hey guys, how's it going? Don't mind us. Yeah, I literally can't do anything else. Wait, you want me to wink sync with you? friend. At least, that's what I told myself. Oh, is he gonna confess to her before he dies? Wait, no, but this is a wink sync. Only I'm seeing it. But I truly loved. I just couldn't accept it. Even after I realized it, I acted like a friend. Treated you almost like a daughter. That's how I acted around you. It was the first time in my life I felt like this. I didn't know what to do. Jenny, you're so cute. What about me is cute? I'm as rugged as my name suggests. Your name doesn't sound that rugged either, Jenny. But I like that about you. I like how big and strong you are. How many bullets do you take to the back, though? Um... Many, but I don't know. It was kind of off screen. It was a lot of blood, though. Just being near you makes me feel safe. But probably not as much blood as would be realistic. <laughs> <laughs> that would change real quick if I took off my mask. No, you get to finally see. True. I think your face is nice too. I like you whether or not you have a mask on. She probably likes me as a friend. Or maybe it's something more childish, like her stuffed animal, or pet. Aw, oh, no, it wasn't like that at all. But I was okay with that. As long as it meant being with her. And then she came to me for help. The situation was dire, but it made me so, so happy. Maybe happy to stuff that dead body in my freezer. was fleeting. I knew nothing would come of it. I am hideous after all. Oh god. How could you be so cruel? This is a long wing sink. I wish I never realized how I truly felt. It's sad that she's not gonna hear all this. Nothing happens. Nothing's there. But then this timeline is gonna be nuked anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Nothing here matters. I wanted to live a plain, dull life. I wanted to die quietly, alone. And now... Everything that's hurt me before means nothing. Everything that's hurt me before is nothing compared to the hurt I feel now. Oh god, why are you so cruel to me? She'll never love me. She's precious, pure, innocent, and beautiful. Why did you have to show her to me, god? I resent you, creator. I curse you for this terrible fate you've given me. No. No, I can't. That's not the truth. I... I am grateful to God. I... I met you. My fate was meeting you. Kenny! Oh, oh Mame. I... I'm truly happy. No. Kenny, you're kidding, right? No. No! Kenny! 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 <laughs> Are we going to cut to credits now? We're going to cut to credits now. I know it. We're gonna cut to the credits and it's gonna say Genny and Amame end. Yep, yep, there we go. What is Boss thinking though? Also, I want to like Amame, but nothing, she's done nothing right in this game. Like, most of the other girls, we kinda got to know them. 
as themselves before they got wrapped up in all the murder mystery stuff. But uh, Mame, every time we met her, she's just been depressed and sad about whatever's going on or like out of it or not answering our questions. And then she freaking takes Mizuki's gun and then that's why Geni gets shot, even though we can all see it coming. Like, I like, I want to like Amame. I, like, I don't think she's a bad person and I don't hold things against her, but I think the game did her dirty by not giving her like a real time to, sh to spotlight and shine and show off her character, besides just being nice to Gen. Because she's just never really had very many full conversations with us in the game. And it's weird because she's a returning character too, who was a minor character in the first game, and now she's important in this game. So I just wish they did a better job with her, honestly. I I'm glad we didn't see Gen's face in the end, though. I feel like that would kind of take away from his character. I think the mystery of what he looks like is better and, like, adds more to his character. And they probably wouldn't want to show, you know, with the modeling over that type of skeleton that they showed us for him because out of respect for, you know, real life similar situations and stuff, but... So, I'm gonna skip the credits since we've seen them multiple times already. This should open up the last path. Why... Why did Gen and Amame get a sad ending route? Every time we get a character ending, it's usually a happy one. Like, with Shoma's ending and Lian's ending. I mean, I guess in the first game, Iris's ending was sad, I guess. Mizuki's was fine, and Ota's was fine. Okay, well, it's time to unlock this. Okay, so let's recap what's happened in this in this path. So in this path... So we went through Ryuki's route, his flashback. We ended up at the cathedral, where things exploded. Kobeji's still dead in this one. Then we went back to the present. We followed through the investigation like normal. With the mask girl's route, we helped her. And then we got out, found Komeji's body. They fired off the test rocket. We made it to the abandoned warehouse. We saw terror. Mizuki betrayed, or not Mizuki, Ryuki betrayed us. We saw Date again. For some reason, not even surprised that he was there. We synced with terror. We found out a bit about his past. Then we revealed his face, and Tokiko apparently is alive somehow. And then we're here. So we haven't seen this thumbnail yet. There's, I think there's Ryuki in the back. This should be the last route though. I don't know. Oh, okay. Apparently when I choose, oh, this is the first time I've, I've started from an investigation. Usually, if you start from a Somnium, it just starts a Somnium. If you start from an investigation, you can actually choose which location. Okay. Alright, and we're only like an hour into the stream, so... Hopefully we have enough time. Depending on how I feel at the four-hour mark, we might just finish everything in one day then. In today. Because I don't want to leave it off too close to the end. Last, Mizuki Chapter 5, M1. How are you going to resolve everything? I don't understand. Oh! You came! Good. Want something to drink? With water? On the rocks? Wait, this dialogue is new. Did, did this happen after we came back from the factory? So, Terror and Tokiko got away. And now we're here? You don't have to be shy. Wait, I'm not responding. Am I not playing as Mizuki? It's on me. I'm not Mizuki, am I? It's such a bizarre case. The HB serial killer. My Ryuki? That being said, the facts are fairly straightforward. Are they gonna somehow find a way to explain Mama's new powers? Pointing out a culprit can't be too hard. Do you already know? Are you talking to me, the player? Is the player feeding you your fortunes? Terror. Who are they, really? Or is this is this just a test to see if I actually been paying attention? Yes, it's Mama. Well, technically, it's Uru. Right. Uru. But I don't understand now. We found five halves of Jin and Uru's bodies, but there's no way there's five halves. So something's weird here. We know he killed at least three people. Jin Furaway. 
Look, we found both halves of Jin. He has the other half of himself. We found the other half of the... The person with the plastic face. Chikara Horadori. Andy's Komeji. You left out Tokiko. But why did he kill them? Are you trying to tell me that... Terror did not kill Tokiko? I mean, Tokiko, I feel like that one was always weird because he liked Tokiko, so it didn't make sense. What was his goal? To build schools in Africa for the Nirvana Initiative. That's right. The Nirvana Initiative. The loony plan to have humans reach Moksha. That's why Uru killed the three of them. We can put aside the little details for now. The most concerning aspect of the whole thing is the time difference. The whole reason why Mama's telling us this is basically because, I guess, you've probably done a lot of story routes up until now, so... She wants to put everything on track in case you've forgotten anything. Right? Or is there more to this? The left and right sides of the victims were found six years apart. Yeah, that I still don't get. Regarding the first victim, the facts are already in. Six years ago, on February 10th, Jin Furaway's body fell from the ceiling of Divita. And this year, five days ago, also on the 10th, Uru Somizuki's left half was found at the stadium, not Jin's. Plastic surgery and complete organ transplants. It fooled the investigators into thinking they were the same person. But what about the other victims? Chikara, Komeji, Tokiko. How do you explain those things? Why do you say Tokiko last? So something's different about her. You have good intuition. You might already know. Oh, Tamagotchi time, Mama. What's your favorite? Gauge boson. Photon, graviton, gluon, weak boson. Photon. It's Koshi in Japanese. Sometimes I want to read it as Mitsuko. Thanks, computer. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, now after reading all of them, I was going to say, the timeline was not in the correct order. That has to be it. If it's Ryuki and Mizuki were hallucinating, though, I don't think the game would do that, but man, I'd be so angry. The timeline was not in the correct order. Right. In other words... It's not like that. What are you trying to tell me, Mama? How do you know this? It's like this. What? But why? See, this is the big- the biggest hint was just from this path alone. Shoma gave Komeji chocolates a year ago. He doesn't seem surprised or sad about his death. Date appeared out of nowhere at the abandoned factory. No one seemed to notice anything. But that doesn't explain that Mizuki grew up. Some of these scenes wouldn't make sense, right? Unless the game was deliberately deceiving me. Yeah, when did Mama become meta? What the heck is going on here? This is the timeline that you actually experience. Okay, I can accept that, but then the, the question is, why is it like this? The red and blue lines are intertwined, almost like DNA. I guess that's kind of cool imagery. You started on the red line from the top, and then followed the blue line, which led you to this point. You've traversed four X's. But why? The left side is six years ago, and the right side is this year. To make things easier, we'll call the left side past, and the right side present. Hey, alright, Mama, can you do me a favor and just summarize what's happened in each timeline then? In other words, you came here. 
jumping back and forth between past and present, a day at a time, all to end up here. Now do you understand? Why are you just dropping on this on me now all of a sudden? Chikara's right half was found the night of the 11th in the past. His left half was found the next morning. So the game has been deliberately deceiving me though, because none of the characters, you're right, none of the characters seem surprised to start finding the second halves of all the other characters. That means... Who died first? Chikara, then Komeiji, then Tokiko. But why? That's why you mentioned Tokiko last. Komeiji's right half was found on the 13th. His left half was found the next morning at 6 a.m. Six years have passed, and now we're here. In the present, Tokiko's right half was found on February 12th. The next day, a little past midnight, her left half was found in the basement of Horidori Institute. But that doesn't make sense, because right after we found her first half, Ryuji discovered the cathedral. But... He hadn't been down there before. Yeah, so Jin and Uru were the only people that actually died six years apart. To but that was, so that whole plot device is just to mess with us, the viewer. What what consequence does it have it in the game? Long story short, the left and right halves weren't found six years apart. They were all found soon after each other. Nothing supernatural here. Okay, but why? Is that is that just a haha? -ha, the game got you. Like there has to be a reason for this. Wait, no, go, go get back here, Mama. Don't no, get back here. Don't get back here. This is a chart that shows the flow of the story in chronological order. The true flowchart can be checked from menu flowcharts. Why? Wait, so that means the branching paths are gone. That means Shoma's ending and Lian's ending are gone. Okay, okay, let's let's go through this in order then. Okay. Okay, so first. Okay, so first we do. Wait, no, okay. So we just did the blue path. So let's start with the red path. So First, we interrogated Ryuki at the very beginning of the game. He went to the flashback. So, he met all the characters. Chikara died. He went to Nai's Japan for the first time and talked to Tokiko. Then, wait, what happened in this one? Uh, hi, Tokiko. Wait, no, so... But this is still... Oh no, so if I follow the red line, that is what that is the path we've already taken. Got it. So, okay, so I need to go- I need to go up and down, I don't need to go sideways. So if we want to go chronologically, so... Ryuki meets everyone, Ryuki meets Chikara, we go into Chikara's brain, we meet Tokiko, after Chikara is found dead. Next day, Chikara's other half is found. And then, wait, but Miyu Mizuki looks for the balloon. How are you going to explain the fact that Mizuki changes, though? Mizuki looks for the balloons. Gen hides the balloon. We discover that he hid the balloon. Then we get Lian. to bring us to the underground room. We find... We know, but that, that doesn't make sense, because in this this segment, that's where we find Tokiko's dead body half, right? Oh, no, that's here. Oh, because every time the clock strikes midnight, that's when things flip. We go to Komeiji. Komeiji... Komeiji Somnium. 
we get out of there. We discover Komiji's blackmailing terror. His body's found at Daivata. Next morning, we find the second half of his body at the amusement park. Then we go to the abandoned factory, and we find... Like, is all the older Mizuki in the past, is that the mass woman, actually? Because I don't know, does, I don't think the mass woman's height changes from past to present. So she's always, like, older Mizuki. She never looks like younger Mizuki. We find terror. We sink with terror. But wait, either way... Okay. We sink with terror. Date gives us a call about... Wait, still, this still doesn't make sense. Because... Remember when we went to Iris, and then Date was like, how did you know that the Iron Mask was terror? But we still should have known, because we saw his body at Daivata when we were investigating it. So Ryuki should have known. That's not a discrepancy. That's not even a clue. Hey, Aru, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. Okay, let's follow the present day path. So present day... We interview Ryuki, he goes crazy. We go to Horidori. We find the mask girl and Kizuna. We go into Kizuna Somnium. We find out that Mizuki is genetically modified. Then we go to Nice. No, Ryuki goes to Nice and then takes in. Tokiko goes through her Somnium. She comes out. We find out she's dead. Next day, Mizuki finds the second half of her body. Then we run into the mask girl who collapses on us. Then we find out about the test run of the rocket. Then we are looking for... Mame in the present. We sync with her and then... This still doesn't make sense though. I thought that maybe if the game was very clever about this, the fact, the only time, every time where a, a timeline flips over to the next one, maybe it'd be clever if the only characters that appeared were ones that don't age, like Gen, Mame, Shoma... But I can clearly see Mizuki in this little thumbnail, which means that she definitely is the older Mizuki in the past, which doesn't make sense. Okay, well, let's just keep playing. Maybe it's going to come together, but this is really... it. It's a cool twist, but I don't think it's doing a very good job of... I think at least Mama should have just walked us through the chronological events of each day. But like it was this is a it's a cool twist, but how are they going to justify it in game? It it sounds like to me it's more like just a haha, gotcha. And then the characters are going to continue on like as if nothing. Like if I don't know, the only way I could explain this if they wanted to do this in universe was uh, if this flowchart was like I don't know, Terror's photo board, and he intentionally mixed up the photos to mess with us as the investigator. So maybe, like, if you open the story with Ryuki or Mizuki walking to a room, and they're like, this is Terror's hideout, and then they see a bulletin board with all the photos, and they're like, let's go over the case again, and then you as the player go over the case, and then by the end, Mizuki or Ryuki goes, wait a second, these photos are out of order, and then rearranges them. That would be a sort of explanation, but it still doesn't seem satisfactory. At least there's no real time travel going on, but I don't think this makes sense. Wait, what do I do now? Well, I can read a summary of this chapter. Oh, great, I'll just read it in Japanese. Are all of them like that? No, nope, these are in English. Okay, maybe we'll read through the chapter descriptions later.
Oh, okay. I'm still I'm still here anyway, apparently. That's just my genius analysis. Oh, but I know what you're gonna say. There's still tons of things that can't be explained. Yes, I was just talking about that. You could have told me that you were gonna keep talking, Mama, before I started analyzing everything. That would have been really helpful. Especially who killed Uru and Tokiko? Jin, Chikara, Komeji. It was Terror, Uru, who sliced these three in half. But then Uru was killed in the present, February 10th. Tokiko's body was found after that. So my, so I think one of the assumptions I think was wrong because remember I said we found five halves of Jin and Uru, so that can't be because actually one of them was actual literal Uru's, who is dead now. Wait, no. So who killed Uru and Tokiko? Well. I'm sure this mess will be cleared up soon. By Mizuki, her friend, and by you, Freyr. I'm Freyr? My name's Kiro, by the way, Mama, if you want to, you know, call me by my real name. So anyway, good luck with the rest of your investigation. I'll be cheering you on. Why are you- why are you the character that gets to be the bearer of the truth? Wait, what are- oh, Mama's having a- Uh-huh? Who was I just talking to? Oh, okay. You're gonna play it that way, huh? Maybe I've had a bit too much to drink. It's awfully cold tonight. Hey, Mama. Thanks for that. I guess. <laughs> Okay, I'm I, I'm really curious. I want to see is this game going to wrap everything up in a way that is satisfactory to me, or is it still going to be full of plot holes everywhere, or questionable gameplay design choices? That's what I want to know. Hey, about Kizzy, are you sure she's okay? So right, Kizzy is still kidnapped in this timeline. Don't worry. I made sure she's fine. Oh, so that's why she's... That's why... I, I made this comment before, too, during the actual playthrough. That's why Kizuna got kidnapped at, like, the same time in both the present and the past. It's because to make this discrepancy. Kizuna went missing. Last night around 11 o'clock, Richi Chieda, her father, contacted me. Aiba and I started our search for Kizzy. After a while, I got a call on my phone. It was from her. She told me to meet her here at Iowan. So... that makes us... sisters? We're not the same age, but we're like identical twins. We have almost the same genes. That's crazy. I'm a copy of you. Don't say it like that. But I'm your clone, right? Technically, yes. Okay, so I'm the clone, fine. Technicalities. But our DNA isn't exactly the same. My genome was rearranged. Your DNA was modified on top of that. Which is why you don't have the symptoms I have. Basically, you're an upgrade. The perfect version of me. Don't say it like that. Oh, I'm playing. Okay. I was raised at Iowan too? Yeah. The same as me. When I was six, you were born at Horadori Institute and sent here. I'm guessing they thought it was too difficult to raise you at the Institute. I remember the day you arrived like it was yesterday. You were still a baby. But the moment I saw you, I got this feeling. I started bawling my eyes out. The people at the facility didn't know we were related. Makes sense. They were told we were from two different places. But we are both named Mizuki, and we looked really similar. So to make it easier, 
Everyone started calling me Big Sis. They called you Mizuki. But wouldn't... Wouldn't Kizzy remember that? I guess she was too young to remember that. What happened after I arrived? They took me to Horidori Institute every so often for examinations. Well, I say examinations. I mean human experiments. I don't think you remember, but they did terrible things. I remember getting shots with needles as big as boba straws. Ouch. My time with Horidori Institute ended when I was nine and you were three. It shut down and we were finally free. That's about the time you were adopted by the Okiura family. But me? Well, I told you about me, right? You were blind in one eye and had a heart condition. Right. So it was hard to find a family who would take me. Ultimately, it was Mr. Chieda, the chairman. So when you were nine, you were adopted by... The Chiedas. I spent the next six years there. Up until I was 15, I lived under the same roof as Kizuna. I see. That's why she called me Big Sis. What about after that? You said something about an eccentric woman? Yeah. I was adopted by her. Do you mean... It's a boss. Shizue Kuranushi. Boss. Do it. Which is why my name is Mizuki Kuranushi now. Boss, and you never told me about this boss? I mean, I know you want to keep your private life separate, but... This is, this is kind of important to the case, don't you think? And also, we brought the masked woman in and synced with her, and then... Oh no, boss wasn't there at the time. She just heard about it afterwards. She would have been mad. You think that sounds kind of lame, huh? No, it's not that. Why did boss adopt you? You know how we're stronger than everybody else? Maybe she thought I'd come in handy. So she wanted to make you work for her. I don't know if that's the truth. But that's what she told me. Boss taught me how to fight. After she adopted me, she trained me hard every day. Six years ago, when I was 18, I was hired as a top secret member of Abyss. Boss wanted someone who she could rely on. Someone who would never betray her. So she could betray me! <laughs> she trusted me to handle the most sensitive situations. Basically, I'm like a ninja. Well... A kunoichi, which is why my existence at Abyss had been hidden. The only people who know are Boss, Pewter, and Ryuki. Ryuki knows. Ryuki? Why? I wonder. Tamagotchi time! <laughs> What's your favorite DNA base? Um... Adenine, sure. You have good taste. Want to go eat sometime? Oh, Pewter, you. So Ota quizzes me on like anime references and Pewter quizzes me on science. About February six years That's ago. like I told you. I want to know who did this to me. I know that Chikara was the mastermind, but I want solid proof. That's why I was investigating him and his institute. But then, out of the blue, he gets killed. That's why I started following the HB case. I asked her about what happened back then. She told me the details of what happened on the 12th and the 14th. The 12th? So yeah, so she was the one who went looking for the balloons back then, right? That doesn't make sense. She's the one who synced with Gen. She's the one who went to Horidoria Underground. She's the one who found Komeji's left half. But wait, no, but... So she she has to have an AI ball. I mean, she works for Boss, and there's no way she would have been able to do the corpse planting thing if it wasn't for... that. So every time I was playing, I thought I was playing as Mizuki. Every time it flip-flopped to the past, I was playing as this Mizuki. And then the game deliberately gave me an unreliable representation of that.
in the abandoned factory. That was you. So that's why when Date broke in, he said, you look similar, because he wasn't talking to Mizuki. I was playing as this Mizuki. I think the game could have done a better job of... of... tricking us. Like, maybe if it was any... during any part of time when I was playing as this Mizuki... older Mizuki, let's call her... They should have made it so I never saw Mizuki in third person. Like, I always only saw her in first person. But then how would that exp how would they mask Aiba? Yeah, so you synced with Terror. That's why no one seen and heard cannot be shared with anyone. That's why no one was surprised. That's why no one was surprised that Date was around. If you do. I will kill her. I have an abundant amount of money. Even if I were to die, the assassins I've hired would still find her. You don't think I was playing as this Mizuki? You think it's because Ryuki was flipping through between timelines. But really he was finding bodies in the past and present. No, I know he only only Mizuki was finding the bodies in the present, but Chikara's other half was still found in the past, so I was I was playing as this Mizuki when that happened. I see. That's why you didn't talk about what happened six years ago. But I think it's okay to start talking now. Why? I was able to freeze all of Terror's hidden accounts. We don't need to worry about any assassins anymore. What? Well, how? That's so convenient. Iba, you don't remember anything from February six years ago, do you? I do not. My body was destroyed in the explosion at the cathedral. The Abyss communication network was also offline. So there was no backup taken. Why are you hiding your identity? If I revealed myself to you, you would want to know everything. In one way or another, you'd find out. You'd find out that your genes were spliced. That your real parents aren't Renju and Shoko. I didn't want you to end up like me. I wanted you to live a normal life. As normal as possible, anyway. Get a normal job, a normal husband, get married, start a family, live happily ever after. A life like that. But if I showed up, I would ruin all that. That's what I thought, at least. I see. Why didn't you tell me seven years ago in November? I was already well on my way to an abnormal life at that point. <laughs> Maybe that's true. Because my character hadn't been created during the first game. By the way, I'm curious. Why were we given the same name? I don't know. Maybe they didn't really care about the name. But wouldn't that make it harder to tell us apart at the Institute? Ah, uh, I don't think they had any trouble. We had code names at Horidori Institute. I was Mouse, and you were Rabbit. I was a Rabbit. And you remember what they called us at Iowin, right? You were Big Sis, and I was Mizuki. Yeah. Is that what I called you? No. You were still little. You couldn't talk much. You just called me Bibi. Bibi? Yeah. Okay, from now on your name's Bibi. To avoid confusion, I'm calling you Bibi. Bibi, huh? Anyway, we've already spent enough time here. We shouldn't be wasting time like this. Good point. There's still tons we don't know about the HB case. So what they're saying is, Uru and Jin are not the culprits. There's someone I, else around here. I want to show you something. Someone else cut Tokiko in half. Huh? What is it? Oh, no. It's nothing. Let's go, BB. Yeah, you're BB now. Again, it's, I'll, I'll say again, it's a neat twist, but I don't think they're doing a good job of explaining it in-universe. Which I find is really surprising, unless they somehow pull it together later, because Zero Escape had a lot of moments like this that they did an excellent job of explaining away and making it make sense. So I really hope that this game does the same. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> he still looks so dumb like that. Hi, yes, we saw you. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? This is information overload. My brains are gonna flow out of my ears. Jeez, just relax. I can't just relax. What is this corpse doing here? And why are Kizzy and Leon here? Oh, and most importantly, who the hell is this? What, isn't it obvious? Wait, you're that stupid porno mag collecting old man. No. Yes. Why are you dressed like that? Where is Genny? What are you doing here? And one last thing. Where have you been the past six years? Why didn't you try to contact me? Yeah, I like how the way she swore was so full of emotion. That was great. I'm sorry, Mizuki. Okay, so now we're taking information from the other timelines that we didn't do. And we're just getting them handed to us since we didn't actually do them. They never actually happened. Do you change back into your outfit, Date? You look so weird. You look like when Pinky and the Brain decide to disguise themselves as humans. Okay. I think I kind of get it. Six years ago, Date lost his memory when the ceiling collapsed on him. Then he got captured by terror, but managed to escape. That part, I can't believe we're just glossing over the whole how did he escape part. And he's been wandering the earth for the past six years. Five days ago, on the 10th, he heard the news about Jin's body being found. Hey, Akko, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. And finally got his memory back. That's right. What's this gonna say? My voice reaches Date's brain right now. That's because there is a reception device in his left eye socket. You can mute me by turning it off. But there's a real hassle, so it's still on. This is the same for Mizuki Kuranushi. She hears my voice too. Hmm, Mizuki Kuranushi is kinda long. I'll just call her BB. Okay, who to start with? Date, you. Let me say one thing. What? Do you have more insults to hurl at me for missing six years of your life? Yes. No, it's not that. Maybe she just wanted to hear you say, Mizuki, you've grown so much, or something emotional like that. No, not that either. Ah, right. For you, it's been six years. For me, it's different. I've been back for four days dressed like this. I've been watching you guys the whole time. So I don't really have anything sappy to say. I told you, it's not that. I'm home. Welcome back. Is that what you wanted to hear? All right, okay. Let me try this again. Mizuki, I'm home. Welcome back, Date. But that's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, F you, Date. <laughs> I threw away all your porno mags. <laughs> yeah, given that. A real gut puncher, right to the heart. Does Date stuff the legs? I think they mentioned that he has, like, wire mesh and other stuff inside this body to make himself fit. Looks like a Goomba from the live-action Mario movie. Oh my gosh, you're right. It kind of does. I, I keep thinking of Pinky and the Brain. For some reason, that stuck out to me. Whenever Pinky and the Brain decide to disguise themselves as humans, they get these, like, human-shaped bodies, but then they just have their regular mouse heads on top and no one... no one can see the difference. Who is the corpse in the freezer? Let's talk about it later. Trust me, if I explain it now, it'll only confuse you. Why were you pretending to be Genny? Oh, so wait, 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 I, I just, I just realized something. So every time we as Mizuki went to the Institute or the nice underground with Lian, he actually thought we were Quartz at the time. That's why, even though it happened in the past, he didn't seem to notice that Mizuki was older. But then that that, bring, that begs the question again. That means he's seen the masked woman's face. When he worked with her as Quartz, she didn't have the mask on. So uh, how come he was so stupid that he never mentioned that Mizuki looks just like her? Again, the game has a little plot discrepancies. I'm sure if I go back and play through all those episodes in like correct timeline order, there would be a ton of discrepancies that they deliberately misled me with. Why were you pretending to be Genny? I know that Horidori Institute and Nyes are both caught up in the HB case. Gen was created at the Institute, and he was acquaintances with Tokiko. So, by borrowing his mask, I could snoop on Tokiko and other members of Horidori Institute. But why do you still look like that here? 
Horidori Institute and Nice people come here all the time. Imitating Gen makes it easier to eavesdrop on them. They come here and they discuss work while they're eating? Does that mean you're a good cook now, Date? I'm gonna be honest, this has gotten way out of hand. I can't do this on my own. We need to work together to stop their plan. Their plan? Yeah, the Nirvana Initiative. So first, I contacted Mizuki Kurunushi. Date and I met six years ago. Yeah, okay. He knew how to get a hold of me. I shared everything I had, then told her to find you, Mizuki. To help stop them? Basically. Can you play through the timelines without doing insomnia? Yeah, it just means that every time you get to insomnia, you have to open up your menu and go to the flowchart again, which means it has to be at a point where you can open up your menu. I think I'll at least read through the descriptions on the timeline later, but I don't think it's gonna help. I think the discrepancies actually exist, but the game deliberately misled us. When did you find out about the corpse in the freezer? Last night. Date called me out of the blue. He told me about the corpse. And how he was pretending to be Genny. And everything else he knew. Where's the real Genny? I don't know. Not here. Well, at least he's not shot. It's fine. I know where he is. Don't you have an idea, too? Evie. Evie. But... What? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to call you by that name. Also, consider this. When she was wearing the mask, she NASA glued it to her face. That means she also NASA glued her hair, because her hair wasn't coming out from over the mask. That must hurt. I heard you're missing. I am a little embarrassed to admit this, but Leon and I plan to elope. What? May I ask why? So, so the eloping, even though it happened in an alternate timeline, it's still carried over here somehow. Gizzy's father won't accept me. He threatened to send Leon to prison if he continued to see me. And that's when I suggested that we run off together. And I agreed. So you two... Yeah. They're both on the run for love. But we don't know exactly where we want to go yet. Right. We need some more time to think about it. Did you tell Richie? I have told him that I am safe and sound. Okay. Well, I'm glad you weren't kidnapped. Hey, Dad, I'm eloping. Don't look for me. I'm safe and sound, though. I know you're going to send armed men to come look for us, but don't do that, please. Bye. I am so sorry that I worried you. Yeah. I'm sorry about all this, you guys. About BB. I suppose Big Sis has already told you everything. Big Sis and I lived in the same home for six years. But I never thought my Big Sis was my Big Sis's Big Sis. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sentence. So confusing. Anyway, Mizuki Date. I will call you Little Big Sis from now on. That's not confusing at all. And you, Mizuki Kurenushi. I will call you Big Big Sis. Still, just as confusing. Mizuki is Bibi's clone. Date already knows this. Bibi told him. But Kizuna and Lian don't know this yet. They think they are just sisters. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? Are you cold? It is snowing outside, but do not worry about us. My heart is burning strong. Why are you here? I told you that we wanted to run away together. And I wanted to be with Lian. I got a call from my old pal Date. I asked him to unlock something for me. Are you talking about the freezer? No. I got that open on the 13th. It was a different lock this time. Anyway, that is when we met with Date and the woman he was with. The woman? I was there too. About Bibi. I've known her for a long time. She's a former co-worker from back when I was doing bad stuff. Back then, I used to call her Quartz. Hey, don't just blurt that out! Mizuki's name comes from Crystal. The kanji for crystal can be read as Mizuki. Crystals are the solid form of silicon dioxide, a mineral, most often recognized as quartz. Wait, so you were in a thieves guild, baby? The snow isn't letting up. Don't change the subject. Don't change the subject. Yeah, yeah, don't change the subject. What time what is it? What do you ask? No reason. It is currently 4.25 a.m. Daybreak is close. Okay, I'll ask again. What's the deal with the corpse? Why is it in the freezer? It's better that you see for yourself. Let me just show you. Did you take Tokiko's diary? Another corpse? No, not one more. Not one at all. 
It's half. Or you're gonna show me the other half from wait, but the other half of this gin was modified. It was the first corpse we found. What are you about to show me? Oh yeah, so it is you're gonna show me that the corpse in the altar. Because we haven't found it in this timeline. Okay, my but really the real question is What's what's Ryuki up to right now? Is my boy okay? <laughs> And also, you haven't introduced us to your eyeball. So, you finished reading the file. Wait, unless... Unless... The past Mizuki... Actually did have Aiba with her. For some reason. Oh, wait! No, no, no! No, no, I get it! I get it now! I get it now! Boss said Aiba was on a special mission. Aiba was not with Date either. She was with... Bibi. And then when she got her memories wiped, she didn't remember she was with Bibi. So there is no third eyeball. She was on her special mission. That was when she was with BB. Yeah. Now do you understand? So we were playing as BB and I actual Iba. But again, I think the game could have I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense. She just happened to be wearing the same clothes as Mizuki wears in the future. So I guess technically the game didn't need to show us that Mizuki in third person. Or they didn't need to stick to first person, because in third person, she actually did look the same. Okay, fine. I accept that explanation. Now you know whose left half is in the freezer. Wait, this is the box that Ryuki found down here. Who is the mystery person that Ryuki chased after in the underground? Was that me? But... This still doesn't make sense, then. Because at one point, Leon and Bibi come down here and they say, Oh, they rebuilt this place after it collapsed. That means that this place must have collapsed already 12 years ago. Jin. Jin Furue. That's what he really looks like. And this body? Uru Somazuki. Terror. He murdered three people six years ago. Jin, Chikara, and Andy's Komeji. What's this? Yes, so this There's is... There's some kind of device in there. Is... Is Ryuki the real killer? And that we are using this box as like a trap for him? But that doesn't make sense too, because he was investigating Tokiko, so he wouldn't kill Tokiko and then fake knowing that she was there. It appears to be a jet-like nozzle device. Hmm. Oh, go away, Tamagotchi. Has it really been 20 minutes every time? What's your favorite pairing? All-out attack, of course. I think I like all-out attack characters. Are we are we the ones who plant the box here? Who's right half? You changed. That outfit was so hard to move in, with the wireframe and all the stuffing. Are Leon and Kizuna okay? Leon and Kizuna aren't here right now. We split at Brahma. They're not going far away, are they? They should be fine. They said they were going to think hard about where to go. What if what if Boss is the real antagonist? And we're fooling Ryuki because he's still working for her and he doesn't know about that. What about Jin? I don't need to explain it. You should already know. Jin Furue, the child of Tokiko and Chikara. He was born with a rare and complicated disease. It caused inoperable tumors to grow in the right half of his body. Jin might have had it worst of all. He got his first transplant when he was really young. I don't think he wanted to take organs from Uru. Remember what it said in Uru's diary? He said he wanted to apologize. I think he is referring to Jin. 
So you think the transplant was done against Jin's will? I'm not positive, but that's just the feeling I get. When did you Only get here? Only a few hours ago, around 1 a.m. I asked Lian to open the door to the staircase. So the lock you mentioned earlier. That's right. The lock to the staircase door. That's when I asked them about their plans to run away together. Then the four of us headed down the stairs. Lian carried Kizuna down. And that's when we found the corpse on the ritual platform. Right, because that happened in the alternate timeline, so that's why there can be a discrepancy here. How'd you find out? I used Marco's x-ray function. Marco? The name of my AI ball in my left eye. So you have a new eyeball. He's pretty shy. He doesn't talk much. Oh, it's a male eyeball too. That's cute. I want to see Marco. Show me Marco. Unlike someone else I know. Excuse me. Are you talking about me? Mm-hmm. I know Iba really well. We were partners six years ago. When I was hired at Abyss, I was supposed to get Marco transplanted into my left eye. But he wasn't finished yet. So instead, I got Iba. But Iba and Date. Yeah, Iba and Date were kind of fighting at the time. And I needed to see if I was compatible with an AI ball at all, so... I see. I apologize. I do not remember anything from back then. Because of the explosion, right? Yes. It's kind of sad. I made so many memories with you, Iba. Why were Iba and Date fighting? Um... Well, you see, I, I was so preoccupied with my work. No, it was because you tried watching VR porn while Iba was still in your left eye. That does sound like something that would make me very angry. I told you a million times it was just a watermelon splitting video. What happened up till now? I wanted to ask Shoma about the genetic experiments, so I visited him. And I looked like Gen, so it didn't raise any concerns. He told me a lot. About his body and his older sister, and about the hidden safe. That's what we came here for. Wait, Shoma has an older sister? Yeah. You know her well. Kizuna and Iris' friend. A mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. A mame doi. Really? If anything, a mame looks like more like she could be my sister. About Uru. I can't really say anything more than what's in the file. Uru Somazuki. He's the child that was kidnapped from Ion when he was six. It was Chikara and Tokiko who took him. They wanted to make him Jin Furoe's donor. So for over a decade, they did surgery after surgery, giving more and more of Uru to Jin. Half of his face, too. The skin he lost was replaced by an artificial skin made of carbon chitin. Half his face was transplanted onto Jin's as well. Right. And it was only half because Jin had a percent-shaped birthmark on the left side of his face. A holy symbol for the order of percent. It was considered sacred. And Chikara, being a devoted follower, couldn't get himself to rip that skin off. Which is why the left half of Jin's face was left untouched. You know, they, got, they keep talking about how Chikara is so unhinged. But I really can't see him falling for a weird cultist thing about the order of percent. I mean, he's he's just wacky, so whatever, he could be anything, but it just seems weird. And after all those transplants, Jin's body ended up being cut in half. Six years later, February of this year, Uru's body was cut in half. And also, there's been so many of those weird videos, but they haven't been talking about the videos at all lately. And it ends up, the videos were cool, but they ended up not really having any... They really didn't have any relevance to the plot at all other than recruiting people with Bats 490, which was the original, original video. None of the other ones have done anything yet. I'm sure they're gonna go back to it, but... I thought there were like five videos, and there might only be four of them based on the timeline. Some of them might be actually the same one that I'm talking about in both, so... that Maybe that's why... Oh, maybe that's why I was so weirded out by the fact that there were two videos called Nirvana Trial. It's because it was the same video. Do the videos actually have any relevance in this? Are they just complete red herrings? So what was discovered was Jin's right half and Uru's left half. Jin and Uru are essentially mirror images of one another. So when the police were identifying Uru's body, 
They got their DNA sample to compare against from Jin's organs. And because those were originally taken from Uru, it naturally follows that they match. So that's why... That is the mistake that caused investigators to believe that they were the same person. Yeah, we already established this in the last stream. I guess they're just resummarizing it for us. Okay, so let's do something new! I've been what happens next? Six years ago, why did Uru cut the bodies in half? That was for the Nirvana Initiative, right? Yeah, but what does that have to do with the plan? And speaking of, is the Nirvana Initiative still happening? I mean, after all, Terror's dead. Right, the Mastermind is dead. But you saw it, on the night of the 13th, on the rooftop of Misaton. Oh, so that's why she also kicked Ryuki, because Ryuki was the one who shot her in the past, six years ago. That was terror. It was definitely Uru's voice. And that's why sometimes we saw Ryuki as still being sane, and other times we saw him with crazy eyes. Because it was past Ryuki versus present Ryuki. But Uru should have been dead. Perhaps his voice was recorded. Either way, the rehearsal happened even after Terror died. Which means... The main event will likely still happen as well. Yeah, it's safe to assume it will proceed as planned. But I still don't understand the full scope of the Nirvana Initiative. When? Where? How? We are completely in the dark. Is this where the videos come into play? Why don't you ask the culprit? Yeah, good idea. Hey, Uru. What's up with your plan, you asshole? No, that's not what I meant. There are other culprits. Whoever killed Uru and Tokiko. You believe they might know something about the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know for sure, but they at least might have some clues. We don't have enough information yet. Looks like we're gonna need some extra help. Help? Over here. Come with me. There's nothing over here. You would think that, right? But check this out. Open Sesame! Yeah, I figured that was just... Marco, please. I want to meet Marco. Please. Please show me Marco. I want to know Marco. It's like when I wanted to see older Shoba and the game chickened out on me. What is me. this? Do you like it? Ironic, isn't it? No, Date, go back into being missing. I don't want you making this game all weird and How is gross this in anymore. Any way erotic? Much more erotic than watermelon splitting. Let's get going. Y yeah. Date, get lost. <laughs> get out of my game. A character named Marco in a game about people getting cut in half. Is this Attack on Titan? Oh my gosh, I can't believe you just said that. It's been so long since I watched Attack on Titan. Uh, game? Hello? Hello? Sometimes the game takes longer than usual to load, and it makes me worried if it's, like, freezing or something. One time it took forever just to load that stupid dressing room. For Tama, I thought I broke the game. <laughs> it took like a full like minute or two just to open it up. And it was an involuntary thing too, the game like prompted me to open it. What? There's two cathedrals. There's a destroyed one. And there's a functioning one. What does this mean? That's how... Maybe that's how they were able to have both of them in the past and the present. Or I guess technically both in the... present. It means exactly what you see. There are two cathedrals? That's right. Mizuki, look. Hi, Ryuki. Ryuki. I'm here too. <laughs> Hi, Tama. How come you never talk to us when you're inside Ryuki and now you choose to do it? Tama. How is Ryuki doing? Terrible. It was a bad idea to show him this place. He's been like this for hours. 
Yeah, now you start talking, Tama. We haven't heard you talk in like four streams now. <laughs> Are you okay? He appears to at least be breathing. It might not be if there was rope and a branch in here. Don't say that, Tama. Oh my gosh. Don't joke about these things. Oh this my goodness. This has been eating at Ryuki for the past six years. He regretted what he did and blamed himself. He betrayed Date and shot Mizuki Kuranushi with stun bullets. <laughs> and what happened to Mizuki, Date, and Kizuna on top of that? Yeah, Terror detonated the bomb, but it was Ryuki who told Date about this place. If he never did, Kizuna and Mizuki wouldn't have been hurt. That's what's been plaguing him. He started drinking, which made the whole thing worse. I like how you're just summarizing it all up for us now, Tama. I don't care if he feels bad about it. I still don't forgive oh, him. Oh, don't do this to Ryuki's character. No, I really liked Ryuki. Now you're ruining his character. Easy. He had his reasons. I also implemented a self-destruct program. If I activate it, she'll be lost forever. Why are you here? Date called me. Yeah. I told him to head over to the other cathedral. Does that mean he saw Uru's corpse in Tokiko's file? He did. Yep. And then he came here through the hidden passage. About Kizuna. Dang, poor Ryuki. It's really no wonder he's been messed up with this last six Dang, he's been in like purgatory for the last six years. The poor guy. Not to mention all the damage to his liver he's been doing as a result of feeling this guilt. Oh, you do this to my poor boy. Can't believe this game. Why is it freezing? Okay. I heard. So she eloped, huh? It had nothing to do with the video. It was just Ryuki's active imagination. What about the self-destruct program? I was overhauled completely during maintenance a few years back, and that function was deleted. That's when Ryuki opened up about what happened. Why didn't you share this earlier? I couldn't. Ryuki betrayed Abyss. He did something you can't come back from. I couldn't let anyone find out. So you protected him. It's the same reason I didn't upload the investigation data from six years ago. I made an oath. No matter what, I'll... Aw, at least Ryuki has you, Tama. I'm glad you're still looking out for him, even though I think you're a weirdo too, Tama, but... Fine, you look after my boy. I will protect Ryuki. But Ryuki himself could have informed us sooner. You should know why he didn't do that. Why he gave in to Terror's demands. He wanted to protect his loved ones. Wouldn't you do the same? <laughs> Tama also has this wide-eyed... <laughs> watery eyed expression just like Aiba does. She looks like she wants to eat something really badly. Okay. Do you hate Ryuki? Of course I do. I mean, I don't blame you. I want to shove a pipe in his mouth and stir up his organs. Um, 6 years ago he It made my heart condition worse. It affected my work. I can't investigate properly if I have to go to the hospital all the time. But when I heard you recently joined Abyss, I shadowed you. And February 10th, when you went to the stadium, I got there before you and found the corpse. At the time, I had no clue it was Uru's left half, but I knew it had to do with the HB case from six years ago. I told you before that the one thing I wanted was for you to live a normal life. So you tried to shoot me with a rubber bullet? I couldn't let you get caught up in this case. I had to stop you. That's why... I see. You shot at Mizuki to dissuade her from finding the corpse. She seems a little pissed. Yeah, no kid, no duh. Date, are you standing on the other side? There you are. Marco, can you send Iba the data? Can I talk to Marco, please? Got it. Opening it. Is he gonna be like an unseen character until they make a third game? Please don't say that. It is a cross section of the two cathedrals. You get it now? There's one on the east and one on the west. Terror blew up the west one. This one, right here. Which happens to be the same side Ryuki met Terror, what he called his execution chamber. 
On the east side was Uru's corpse and Tokiko's file. And that mysterious box. Are you gonna explain who Culprit Kun was that ran away from Ryuki though? The one connected to the Nye's building is the east one. You can take the elevator up to the president's office. Ryuki, you made a mistake. Yeah, maybe Marco will show up in the ending dance number. He'll be a, like a final reveal. But lying around here in all your misery isn't going to fix anything. If you really regret what you did, solve this case. That's the only way to atone. Man, they did my boy so dirty. Poor Ryuki, man. Ryuki, I remember one night we went out drinking. You told me about your little brother. You always talk about him when you drink. You made him a promise, right? He said, I'll become a hero of justice. Right, his twin brother that got crushed in half, I guess, is also a red herring because it has nothing to do with this case. There's just a lot of things that have to do with halves in this game. If I've fallen, I just need to get back up again. You used to say it all the time. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. As long as you have a body to do it, you climb back up again. Come on, Ryuki. Climb above the debris. It doesn't matter if you're pitiful. It doesn't matter if you show vulnerability. You struggle, you crawl, and you make it back to the top. That's what we do. That's what makes us human. <laughs> Mr. Date. Everyone, I, I, Ryuki, now's not the time to cry. Just let him cry, man. Come climb up here. You mean? Don't get me wrong. I'll only forgive you after we solve this case. So. After that, we all shared information. Isn't that what we've been doing for the last like half hour? Aiba, Tama, and Mar Maruko. So instead of Marco, it's Maruko. That's why I was like, why does he get an English name? So it's like Marco, but it's Marco. Shared everything on the local network. Date received everything as well via the device implanted in his eye socket. Anything that wasn't recorded electronically, we shared verbally. Oh yeah, it's convenient, all four of us have eyeballs. Well, except for Date, he is a receiver. Everything from six years ago, everything from this year. All the information, including Somnia, from top to bottom. So, the first thing on the agenda is stopping the Nirvana Initiative. When, where, how? We don't know anything about it. Hmm? We should know everything except where. Tama shared all her data, right? I did receive the information. I didn't give it a close look. Ryuki, can you tell us more about the Nirvana Initiative? Yeah, I'll explain everything in order. Am I going to have to listen to this too, or is it stuff that I already know when you're just going to fade to black? First, Terror, Uru, created a video. Oh, Tamagotchi time! <laughs> I swear, this can't, these can't be real 20 minute intervals. Sometimes it feels like it comes way sooner. What's your favorite law of physics? Principle of entropy. Pareto's principle. Murphy's principle. Fleming's left hand rule. Oh yeah, the left hand rule, man. I love the left hand rule. Hyper people look like that. I'm not close to done asking the questions, E. I'm curious what everyone else's answer is, so I'll go on a journey to the other world, E. Goodbye, Pewter. You didn't, you didn't spend very much time with me compared to Oda. Okay, bye. I wonder if I can get the fourth eyeball. What do you think of shrimp? Okay, um... I can't remember if the only one I haven't answered is hard to eat or hard. Hard to eat. It's easier to eat than a big... Oh no, I, I did answer this before. If we get too impish, maybe we'll become Ota again. Whatever, I'm not actually committed to trying to finish the eyeballs. Don't worry about me. You should talk to Ryuki. 
Why are you talking to me? It's Ryuki's turn, isn't it? Okay, yes, finally we get to talk to you again. Uru created three videos. QR video, Nirvana Trial, and Nirvana X. So that's why we watched Nirvana Trial twice. Because of the whole past-present discrepancy. The QR video was the first. The QR code on the signboard in Jin's body. That was a link to the video, right? Right. So it was first made public six years ago, on February 10th. The motive was... Really a small part of my plan. It's the plan I there were stories about people who went missing after watching the video, but... It's just about the watch it. It was actually the second video that caused people to go missing. The Nirvana Trial. It was uploaded on February 9th. Back when Uru was still alive. But, so, yes, sure, he wanted, to, he wanted to make an... He wanted to cut the first body in half and have it drop on camera to make more people watch it. But he didn't do anything extravagant with the other videos. But they weren't uploaded on the same account because he kept deleting accounts, so... He didn't do anything, like he didn't, for example, put links to these other videos on Chikara and Komeji's bodies, right? So, again, like, there's just so much of his plan that just doesn't make sense. But what for? I think it was a beta version of Nirvana X, the third video, for testing purposes for the main event. Testing what? There was a code, like BATS 490, in the Nirvana trial video. That code led to the Eastern Cathedral. The coordinates led to the staircase. Yeah, but that door has tons of locks. Right, but the staircase had another code. By solving that, you could collect the numerous keys located all over the city. And those who did solve everything would be able to unlock the door to the Eastern Cathedral. This is a lot of information to just be telling us and not even showing me or alluding to. Did you notice the box? Inside was a device that shot TC Purge. Okay. If you open the box, it triggers. So you got shot by TC Purge. When it enters the brain, it can even overwrite the DNA structure inside neurons. It can make you see things, make you dance. So, are you telling me that culprit that Ryuki chased after the first time didn't actually exist? But that means he was still infected for a while, though. And he was spreading it to everyone else, because it, it spreads even just by breathing, right? It makes you do weird things over and over. And it spreads in the air. If this virus gets out somehow, the human race is in for a rough trip. Can you picture it? The whole world going crazy. People everywhere doing it. The unpredictable things. Crazy things. Over and over. I'll be honest. I contracted TC Perch. Because I opened the box. But it's okay. Ryuki has developed a resistance to it. Yeah, but how many people did he spread it to? And he can't spread it either. What? Having said that, TC Purge is still a problem. Before the body develops a resistance, it can spread. Not to mention the neurons that are damaged can't be repaired. That's why Ryuki was acting weird. Is that what it looked like? When I was infected with TC Purge, my symptoms got worse. So every time we saw crazy eyes of Ryuki, it was just because you were infected with the virus? And it wasn't because of your drinking problem? Disorientation, short-term memory loss, hallucinations. Seems like an awfully convenient... Whatever, okay, I'll, o I'll overlook it, fine. He's been seeing hallucinations for six years now. Again, this poor man! Six years! Okay, six years he's been living with the guilt of having one of his friends wheelchair-ridden, killing off his beloved mentor, um, betraying his friends, shooting another friend, seeing hallucinations because he's had a virus in him, drinking on top of that, and, like, not having any friends. Like, for the last six years, this poor, this poor guy. So every time he, like, stops and goes crazy and starts speaking kanji is because of this virus. I don't think this is a very good explanation. I'll take it, but I don't I don't like this explanation. The mental trauma of what happened to his brother. Yeah, on top of that, his brother too. This poor boy. Anyway, those who solved the code and opened the box 
contracted TC purge. Wait, I don't understand though. If that door had a million locks on it, you would need multiple people to open it. It's not like one person can solve it, go down there, open the box, get TC purge, come back up, and then someone had to reset all those locks again. Like how many people could it have affected? There wouldn't be that many people solving it, right? If, if freaking Thug A can solve it, and he wasn't the smartest dude, so... <laughs> How hard were these puzzles? Like, Thug A solved these things. And as a result, they started acting strangely. And now, there are people dancing and riding in the streets, and a lot of suicides. I see. These people would have no motivation to return home. That's why so many people went missing. In other words, Uru's experiments were a success. He's dead now. But his plan is still alive. Are you telling me that right now there is no live mastermind? No, there has to be a live mastermind. There has to be a cool reveal at the end. Someone has to betray us and is going down. I'm guessing his lackeys are carrying out the plan now to raise the curtain on the main event. Can't just be background NPC lackeys, right? It has to actually be someone. I think I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna shoot the rocket somewhere. With TC Purge on the warhead. The rocket will explode. And the virus will spread? Why haven't they already shot it? I know they want to time everything in accordance with their videos and like to make their Nirvana initiative, but honestly, if he just wants to infect a bunch of people, he could just shoot it whenever he wants. Yeah. Most likely, yes. Of course, it's to give us a fighting chance in the protagonist video game world. Tons of people will get infected with TC Purge. It will grow in their bodies and inevitably spread. And how did you explain that he's just that Ryuki's not able to spread it, like, with this resistance? He's probably spread it to multiple people already. We probably already have it from coming in contact with him six years ago. From one person to another. How do you explain that game? If we do things that are beyond the comprehension of a designer, simultaneously, all around the world. So, in other words, the, the cutting the body in half never had anything to do with trying to reach Moksha. It was just a publicity stunt to get the videos. The videos are the real... The videos in TC Purge are the real... ways to reach Moksha, according to you. This will lead all mankind to reach Moksha. An emancipation from this fictional world. So if I just make enough people crazy, eventually one of them will find a bug or a glitch in the system. Is that what you're trying to say? Even if this Nirvana thing turns out to be bullshit, the virus itself is a problem. Right. I don't know if it will really cause glitches to appear or anything, but it'll be mass hysteria. There is already an uptick in suicides. When is the plan gonna happen? The final video, Nirvana X, is already public. There's a seven digit number, which is probably a time and a date. February 15th, 12 o'clock. Noon, today. Iba, what time is it now? 7.55 a.m. We barely have four hours left. That's how long my streams are. Where's it gonna happen? Well... We don't know. My guess is the other letters that were in the video are some kind of code too. Maybe they point to a location. No. I converted the letters to numbers and checked the coordinates. It's an area in the Pacific Ocean. No land around. I don't think those coordinates are where the plan is happening. Then where could it be? Oh, I remember something BB said earlier. The culprit who killed Uru and Tokiko. Maybe they have a clue. Right. Well, in that case, there is one person. I don't know if they're the culprit, but they might have some valuable information. I didn't know where to find them before, but I've got a good idea now. That person... She's probably with Shoma. You're thinking of Mame, aren't you? Why would she know? I mean, she has been suspicious. I don't think she's the one who killed Tokiko, though. Wow, look at us go. We are so cool. How convenient that we can find her now, after in the other game we spent like an entire stream looking for her around the city. I 
understand. I'll tell you the truth. Oh yeah, we totally forgot about how the culprit used a robot to drop off the other half of Jin's body, so it has to be like one of you guys. Big sis! Amame. The corpse in the freezer at Brahmin. I'm the reason it's there. It's my fault. Right, because of Komeiji. Six years ago, February 11th, my father called me here. Shoma wasn't here. Only my father would have a corpse. Mame told us that Jin's body was hidden under the floor. The same half, the body half that was in the suitcase. Mame said she'd take care of it. Yeah, that's pretty bold too, it'd be like... Your father calls you over, you come over and you're like, Oh my god, you have a corpse in your house, a half a corpse! Shame on you! And then you're like, okay, I'll help you cover it up and I'll take care of it. And then you take it with you? That is mighty suspicious. She brought it to Gen and they stored it in the freezer at Brahmin. Genny didn't do anything wrong. I asked him to do it. And Shoma has nothing to do with this. He just found out too. Mame, that's not what we're here to ask. We're looking for the person who killed Terror and Tokiko. What? Terror is dead? We didn't have time to explain everything. We told them about Terror's identity and the Nirvana Initiative as quickly as we could. You can tell us more about what you know at the station. Amame, will you come with us? No, no! Come on, let's not have a repeat of the ending we just saw. I don't care what you say! You can't take Big Sis away! I agree with Shoma. I don't want you taking Amame away. What's the problem? We just want to talk. Because she's more involved in this than we thought. Wait, Amame, did you kill Terror and Tokiko? W what are you saying? Yeah, didn't she say that they saw Amame going into Horidori and then Tokiko followed in after her? Amame didn't kill anyone! Was it you again? Did she make you do it? Oh, I'm playing again. Hi, let's say hi to the robot. You Hello, robot. That robot right? Yeah, let's just casually change the subject. Oh, uh, yeah. You named it Roboji, huh? Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's the second one, like a second child, so I named him Roboji. There's a, there's a, that's the second one? Where's the first one? He's much more powerful than before. Hint, hint, we're gonna fight you. Boss battle against Shoma and his robot with Abame and Yen. They can hold so much more weight than the previous model. Wait a minute, who cares? Could you people just leave? It's a monowheel robot, Roboji. Genny, move aside. Oh, sorry. I can't let you do that. I came here to protect Amame. Date, if only you didn't find the body in the freezer. Again, she can't be prosecuted for that crime. The statute of limitations for abandoning a corpse is three years. She can't get arrested for hiding the corpse six years ago. But I just can't let you. Again, you're not making any sense. Hold on. Are you hiding something? Wink sink him. Amame accepted every part of me. She saw me for who I was. It wasn't out of pity or sympathy. Her accepting me came naturally, like it was nothing. I've never met anyone like her, and I need to care for her the way she's cared for me. I promise to protect Amame, so I can't let you. Kenny. That's all the more reason, then. If you really have those feelings for her, if we do nothing, Terra will accomplish his mission. A terrible virus is going to spread. The world will devolve into chaos. No one will be safe. Not even Amame. No. So you need to help us. Aha, uh -huh, we outlogic you. We need Mame's information to stop this plan. Amame must know something. Are you okay with ruining her future? Don't you want to protect her? Then please. Correct. So yeah, that means that the, the Shoma Komeji ending and the Gen Amame endings are not canon. However, if it's anything, I mean, I say this now, but I know it's not possible at this point. If it's anything like the first game, what happened is, even though all the non-canon endings ha um, were non-canon, but they showed like character development and made other characters' lives better, in the true ending, somehow that happened off screen and everyone got along again. But in this case, that can't be possible because Komeji's dead of course, and because in that other ending, Gen dies, so... Why are you protecting Mame? I won't let 
you. She's my sister. We're not here for that. But I have a bad feeling. A bad feeling? If she's not guilty of anything, then that's all the more reason you can't take her. If she's not guilty of anything, all the more reason she shouldn't be afraid of coming with us. I'm not going to let anyone drag her away. I already lost my dad. If you take Big Sis, I I'm going to... I'm... When I was in first grade, Big Sis gave me a radio-controlled toy. That's how I got into building things. She took me to robot expos, bought me books and parts, and she's working hard to save money to send me to college. These last six years have been hell. You say that to Ryuki, man. It was hard and painful. Sometimes I wanted to die, but she's always cheered me up and supported me. During all of the gene therapy. Big Sis always protected me. Now it's my turn to protect her. She's more important to me than my own life. So, so, if you're gonna take her, you're gonna have to kill me first. Shoma. <laughs> Again though, like, I, I get that you guys like Amame and she's all great to you, but we have not really seen that much of her personality on our end. Every time we see her, she's just despondent and doesn't respond to anything and depressed. So I want to like her, but we don't know anything about her, really. Do you hate Terror? The man who killed your father? <laughs> Terror's plan is still ongoing. The Nirvana Initiative? It's going to bring Nai's madness to the whole world. We need to talk to Mame in order to stop it. Honestly, you two, it's not like we're here to kill a Mame. We just want to talk to her and maybe sink into her brain or something. Do you want Terror to win? You're acting like we want to kill her. Don't you want to stop his plan? Destroy his ambitions? Isn't that the only way to get closure for your father's death? If you resent Terror, if you want revenge, please. We need your help, Shoma. Mame. You know something important, don't you? Something about the Nirvana Initiative and Terror. Maybe something about Tokiko. That's what we're here to find out. Oh my gosh. Uh, what do I even start with? Komeiji. Um, well... I know this is a touchy subject, so let me say it. Terror killed Komeiji, your father. It stands to reason that you absolutely despise Terror. Are you saying she killed him? That's ridiculous! February 10th. Five days ago, on February 10th, did you meet with Tokiko? We don't have hard evidence, but a witness saw you. Anyway, Mommy headed into Horadori Institute by herself. I saw another person follow her in right after. It was Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure, president of Nai's Japan. Six years ago on February 13th. Six years ago on February 13th, you saw Terror, didn't you, Mame? At Studio Devita? What happened back then? What did he say? You still haven't told us. I looked into her head yesterday, but there was nothing on what happened at Devita. Yeah, so geez, so Ryuki, you knew that she came into contact with Terror six years ago, and then you waited six years later to finally get her, and then sink into her head. Of course she didn't have any information from six years ago, that's so long. Also, does this explain how Shoma disappeared into the ferris wheel? He disappeared into the ferris wheel, the clock struck midnight. We were teleported into- we the viewers were teleported into the future. Ryuki mistakenly thought that he was- got his memories mixed up, and then Shoma wasn't in the ferris wheel because it was just a memory discrepancy. But in the Somnium, Mame said, Nirvana collected genocide. Which would mean you know something about the Nirvana Initiative. Right, so what makes you think sinking into her, into her now is going to help? We, Ryuki sinked into her yesterday. Ryuki looked into Tokiko's head. Three days ago, on February 12th, he saw Tokiko threatening someone. I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. So you were threatening Mame, and we didn't know that because that was so long ago, and that was before any of this happened. Could Tokiko have been threatening you, Mame? Are you the one that killed them both? Oh, Tamagotchi time. How many legs do you like? Um, 
if I want to be crazy, I should say s no, six would be normal for an insect. So what about zero or three? What would a crazy person say? A crazy person would say three. I don't like erotic talking. That's not what I meant. Oh, I'm just impish now. Okay, fine. I'm gonna get an Oda E. Ame. Choma. Gen. Robo G. Oh. No way. Maybe I should have looked at that earlier. A thermite bomb. A what? Not just one, six. You're right. It sure is. That little. Hey, Shoma, what is this? It's a bomb. A thermite bomb. <laughs> it's a bomb. I know that. Then why did you ask? Why is it here? I made it. You made it? Oh, Shoma, I thought you might have been an innocent bystander and all this, but nope. Thermite reactions are pretty simple. You can make one easily using common products. But why did you make it? Well, to get revenge for my dad. I wanted to get terror. You were going to use this on him? Yeah, but I guess it has no use now. Yeah. Terror is dead, right? God damn it. Choma, I also don't understand. You're the kid that never locks the door to his own house. You have freaking bombs in here. <laughs> You're doing something illegal, you think you should at least lock your door? You just made the situation so much worse. Let's decide what to do about that later. Right, there is a more pressing issue. Yeah, are we done all the options in the room? What are we going to do? The two of them aren't going to budge. <sighs> I really don't want to do this. What if we have to use force? No, you can't do this! Don't, don't bring out the porno mags! Yeah, I won't let you take Big Sis! No one can stop Date once he has those. Yeti, Shoma, that's enough. Amame. Big Sis. So is she the mastermind behind these second killings? It's okay. I'll come back right away. Promise. Are you sure? Yeah. You promise? I promise. Now, Mame. Let's go. Hey, Kiro from the future here. This stream went on longer than expected, so I'm going to split this into two videos on YouTube. So stay tuned for the next part. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.